Today's the day. It is time for Oregon and Kentucky to cast ballots on the Democratic side of the presidential primary. And polling has shown that Sanders has a feasible path to winning over there. But I'm really geared towards him winning those states. Obviously because the lead Clinton has on him. And it, I was disillusioned after she won New York and Pennsylvania. And so I've just kind of been hoping uh, that the more this drags on, people will realize who's more electable and who isn't. Now, obviously, there are some people who really want the first female president to such an extent that they will just, they'll ignore everything else about a candidate other than their genitalia. And that's not to say that she is someone who has no accomplishments whatsoever or is entirely fueled by that factor alone. But you have to look at issues and matters of substance to get someone that can actually feasibly win in a society that we, where we have a multitude of women and I think this is a majority that will not vote for someone based on them sharing the same sex now going back to why I think people should support Sanders um, you know the free college proposal is obviously something I, I don't think we've seen before he has a record of being consistent over the course of his career. He's relatively honest, I feel, in just his positions. You know, you've had him supporting gay rights since the 70s, and if you'll re recall, Clinton voted or was in favor of basically banning same-sex marriage during the 90s. She claims to have s switched her position out of realizing that it was immoral. I think it was just political expediency in the same way that Mitt Romney switched his positions to being pro-life and other types of le less liberal positions when he ran for the Republican nomination for president. It's another example of that where we have to lie and make ourselves seem as if we're something that we're not. I don't believe she's some great supporter of gay rights. I think gay gays and, and not even just gays but members of the lgbt community a, a group that has seen its share of suffering and just judgment from people who can't understand that there's nothing wrong with them flock to her because when given the option between her or trump it makes sense to go to her it really does she says she's not making the disparaging comments but regardless of it i still don't see her as an ally of homosexuals at large and I really believe that they deserve better than a person who, in my view, is posing to get their support, does not really believe in their cause, and is entirely ridiculous in the stances that they have, that were before they switched for, again, political expediency. So that's my, my, my judgment on her on that issue. But, you know, you also go into corruption and she's had so many donations from big banks money in politics it's obviously something that i think the young turks have spoken about multiple times uh you have the wolf pack which is out here in california they've been rather relatively successful here in a few other states but you also have to realize that sanders is someone that that is not money is not going to affect it's not going to cloud his judgment and that's all because of his supporters they've gone out they've donated no donated to him they have really made an investment in this campaign and i think that's something to be happy about that we have a, a candidate who electrifies young people and i think will will generate the votes needed in florida and in ohio all these different states to actually be able to win you know and obviously there, there's a very strong strong chance she'll end up being the nominee even if he wins these two states but that should not dissuade anyone from voting with their conscience and that's what I encourage anyone who's going to the polls today to do as well as think about one thing would you rather vote for someone who you think is has a, a very slim chance of winning the primary 
or would you rather vote for someone who you think only has a 50% chance of winning the general election? If you answer yes to the first one, you know who to go for. Thank you for watching and have a good day.